the Chinese uh, sage Confucius once stated, "A good friend is someone who who is caring, who is forgiving, and uh, who is knowledgeable." And uh, but uh, uh, still, definitely this the more. So when I hired, hired her, it was right after I had taken the job at Miles in Indiana. And I started looking around at the staff that I had there. And I said, I definitely need some more heavy duty horsepower in analytical chemistry. And, and I, you know, I hired her and it really worked out well because her science was bulletproof. The first time I met Chidwen was at work. I found her very impressive and exceptional from the first moment. She completed all her projects to the highest degree. Everybody could count on her and she offered a listening ear for every colleague and always offered good advice. She was a great team player and a wonderful team leader, guiding her team to the best performance. She could do all that because she expressed respect to everybody. She always has a smile and so much love. However, and uh, her life is not all about, you know, happiness. And uh, there are some uh, adversity in her life. But uh, she bravely embrace, embrace what the life throw at her with grace and uh, optimism. And uh, her beloved husband, Dr. Uh, Scott uh, uh, Penton, and I believe that he's also an OSU graduate. And uh, he died in a car accident in fall of 1985, leaving her with a three-year-old son. And uh, in an unfamiliar you know, city and an uh, emerging uh, career. But uh, she did not let um, the grief and the uh, hardship that and the misery dictate her life. And now she just um, lived her life uh, day by day uh, with um, courage and uh, um, have a very purposeful life. You know, she, considering all the things that's happened in her life, she's made a lot of lemonade out of her lemons. <laughs> she's a, just really uh, ethical and principled and gracious and sharing. And, in later years, she was the target of a manager's inappropriate actions. She had the impressive courage to stand up against this misbehavior and even encouraged other women to also raise their voices. In the end, they succeeded. What I find so special is when she's talking about this very emotional issue, it is without any hate in her voice. I think this quality makes her an excellent role model in our times, where we see so much hate everywhere. People didn't really distract her from what she knew she should be doing. She would work her way around it and get things done. Glenn's whole life, uh, from what I know of it, uh, she has come a long way and overcome many obstacles in her life. But, and done a lot for the community she's lived in, been always great that her friends supported family, supported my family. Well, you probably all know as a double minority, she did beat the odds and uh, achieved uh, success in her career in the pharmaceutical industry. But to me, and uh, it is not just because her career accomplishment but because her passion and her personality, her humanity, and that she has weathered life's challenge with grace, tenacity, resilience, and even creativity. <laughs>